Hi, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate a few different techniques on how to redirect your dog's attention to you from distractions during walks. Uh, what inspired me to make this video is the pleasure I had to work with a number of different clients, uh, especially this year, and their lovely dogs that had some struggles when being out and about uh, while they really well behave in an environment without distraction, suddenly when there are other dogs around, people, other distractions, either cats, they completely uh, ignore the owners, they recall, they pull them leads. Anyway, so um, obviously it is a very good practice first if your dog suddenly changes the behavior to check with your vet if there is any underlying health issue. Um, some of my clients had castrated their dogs and they still claimed the behavior, if not got worse, it was still the same. So it's very important to, apart from checking with the vet, implement some training techniques to help your dog to enjoy the walks and pay attention to you and also bond with you a bit stronger. Um, so what we're going to start with is to create uh, good manners uh, when we approach the door before our walks. This is very important because we start in a nice, quite calm environment and we often here prevent our dogs from pulling before we even leave the house so we are going to uh, start with Pepe and we are going only to go out and open the door if Pepe is nice and calm and sits doesn't jump up doesn't go a bit hectic so Pepe we ask him to sit wait wait Mm -hmm. Good boy. Right. And obviously, we have to be calm as well to allow our dog to stay calm. Okay, wait. We've practiced a little bit with Pepe already. Wait. Hey, come here. Good boy. Good boy. Yes. Yes. Always we mark a good behavior and reward the dog at first. So we help our dog to associate what we require, what we would like them to behave like and reward it every time when we are training. So the next little exercise that we can implement into our walks to help our dogs redirect attention to us and help them stay calm is some sniffing games, which are very simple. So we can just, if we have a treat pouch or a bag like this, we can just have some treaties there preferably very small pea size uh, for training. And we can just scatter them or put them in some random places like just some around the grass, maybe somewhere um, lower on the tree. I'm going to scatter it just around here for Max to sniff it. So nothing super challenging, but he can just enjoy the whole activity. So just drop them in some random places for him and then ask him to go and find it. Okay, maybe somewhere in the mat here and there. Max, go find it. It's your tricky. Okay, hopefully, we'll sniff them out. Go find it. He is employing his uh, sense of smell now, trying to sniff the treats. Good boy. Go find it. Go find it. Go find the tricky. He's collecting them one by one. If your dog struggles to pay, you can redirect them at first before they understand the game. Max, is that another treaty? What is that treaty? Yes, good boy. So the next simple activity uh, we're going to use to attract our dog's attention to us from the distraction is simple by using head targeting or touch cue. So Max, touch. Yes, we mark it. And we reward it. Now we can do more challenging. Max, touch. Yes. Okay. Another simple activity uh, we can employ to attract dogs' attention is by simply tossing a treat on the floor and ask our dog to find it. So we call it find it game. Uh, we only use one treat at a time and then we can repeat it a few times. Max, find it. Go find it. Okay, we can just repeat it. He's obviously paying attention to me now. Go find it. 
another um, activity that we can also use here, uh, that we need to practice indoors, uh, that I use with Max a lot to attract his attention, is uh, asking to go round my legs. So we call it a round activity. Max, come here. Max, round. So obviously, first we can help our dogs um, with <laughs> luring them with the treat because it takes some time. Max is obviously already aware, but it's just simple activity. Sometimes we can change the reward for a toy, for example. Max, round. He instantly goes faster because he is very toy motivated. Not so another activity that you can introduce to uh, play with your dog to attract your dog's attention is to teach your dog to go round your legs twice, like in a figure of eight. We call it eight. So I'm going to ask Max to demonstrate for us. Max, eight. Yes. And obviously, he will get a nice reward because he likes the ball. We practice as well weaving through legs, so we call it step. Um, you can um, name your cues as you want. They don't have to be exactly like textbook, like other people use. Uh, whichever way you and your dog feel comfortable. So we're going to do weaving through the legs, which we call step. Okay, Max, step. Obviously, you can see we have full attention of Max. Yes. Good boy! And you can add touch. Yes, cut. Yes, good boy. Max, come, drop. So the next one is when Max walks with me. So he goes in between my legs. We call it walk. So Max, walk. Yes. So yes, he's definitely paying, looking, giving me eye contact constantly. Okay, let's turn around. Uh huh. Max, walk. Yes. Good boy. Yes. Okay, come this way. Boy, a little game we play with Max during our walks, which is very easy to implement. We call it hop. So we started obviously first indoors. So you make behavior strong indoors, maybe in your garden, first without distractions. But when you're happy, continue on your walks, and your dog will obviously enjoy it as long as it's uh, appropriate for the breed. So perhaps maybe this one is not ideal for elderly breeds with some hips or joint problems or maybe young puppies as well but definitely good for agile dogs like labrador retrievers border collies or pointers um so max max come here okay so we're going to prepare him so this one is still in practice but max seems to enjoy it max hop yes good boy sit wait no he's a bit fast too fast for me max hop Yes, good boy, and hop. Yes, good boy. There you go. Are you? Yes. Okay, so another little activity we're going to demonstrate is stick with me. This is especially useful for loosely walking if we want our dog to pay attention to us and maintain eye contact. So I'm going to use the ball. Obviously, if you practice enough, uh, the fist will be enough, but you can use either food or a toy, anything that is motivating for your dog. So Max, so obviously we want our dog to pay attention to us. And when we're happy with the behavior, we add stick with me cue. Max, come. Okay, Max, stick with me. Another very easy game to implement and play with our dogs is retrieving. Um, it's good to start again indoors, then progress to the garden. Um, hey, Max, go catch. Yes, come here. Good boy. Uh -huh. Max, go. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Come down. Yeah, good boy. So, literally an activity for our dog that also attracts his her attention to us is perhaps some swimming. Uh, this obviously should be breed appropriate. Not every dog likes swimming, perhaps whippets, not so much, but golden retrievers, Labrador retrievers, some colleagues like mine, they love swimming in every weather conditions. Obviously, it should be a safe place. So perhaps, so perhaps avoid uh, strong currents in the river after a heavy rainfall. Um, another great activity for many dogs uh, is uh, agility. However, this um, should be avoided for young puppies until they fully, their bones and joints fully mature or pen, uh, elderly dogs or any dogs with injuries. Um, not every breed would be inclined to do agility, but having a border collie myself or any athletic dogs 
it's a very good practice to help them expand their energy both physically and mentally um, it's very important to warm up before doing an agility to prevent injuries and uh, this can be done uh, anywhere around the woods with tree trunks we have like a little spot it's like a kind of workout ground <coughs> and make sure obviously uh, keep it clean for other users after you do um, and the final thought is um, very important for all dogs is to set up healthy routine post walk um, and prepare a place where they can settle and unwind after a walk obviously first have some water to cool down and then prepare, prepare like a crate or a mat on which they can just relax uh, we can sit with them at first and ask them to settle in a calm voice so they can follow our instructions so we have so keep uh, your dog a relaxation place settling place in a nice quiet environment far away from noises or be like windows overlooking busy streets um, in the summertime we use a cooling mat for max so he can cool down and in winter we have more like a comfy soft a mat for relaxation post walks uh, thank you everyone for watching the video